If you were overpaid unemployment benefits, you might not have to worry about paying a portion of it back. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains. The Missouri Labor Department says that if you apply for a waiver, you'll be able to keep the federal portion of your overpaid unemployment benefits, but not the state portion. That's because it's not allowed under Missouri law. Democratic lawmakers say that the governor can change that. We use that money for our mortgages, you know, for our car payments, for groceries. More than 46,000 Missourians were overpaid unemployment benefits during the pandemic. These are working families. These are people who did nothing wrong. The state has asked those overpaid to return the money. About six months later, all these overpayment letters started coming and threatening letters. We're going to garnish your wages. We're going to put a lien on your property. We're going to intercept your tax refund. Cindy Knitting, a bus driver in the St. Louis area, got a $2,400 bill. For the governor to expect us to pay all this money back, is morally and ethically wrong. Amy Minnick had her wages garnished. Didn't ask, didn't know. I got a letter after the fact. So they're already taking the money away from me. Missouri's Labor Department reports the average person owes $4,000, totaling around $150 million. Right now, during this crisis, those folks need that money in their pocket to keep a roof over their head. This money also helps to keep Missouri's economy rolling forward. To avoid repaying the federal portion, which makes up about 75% of overpayments, people must apply after they receive a repayment letter. And I think we're still going to work on the state portion of that. You know, we'll, we'll, we've talked about that several times. If it was a legitimate mistake, we're fine with that. But if there's anything beside that, it is, so you're not going to get a blanket waiver. Collections on the state portion start in August. The stress you know, that it causes on all these families. And I'm just one person. I'm one of 46,000. Now, during session, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle passed a budget allowing $48 million of CARES Act money to pay for the state portion. House Democrats are sending the governor a letter asking him to also waive overpayments from the state since he did not veto that line item from the budget. Reporting for our Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.